I'm going to let you into a little secret. Did you know that there are hardly any languages that have as many vowel sounds as English? But there's good news ahead, because today we're going to practice all those naughty little monothongs. So come on, let's get started. So we're going to begin with two of the long vowel sounds, E and U. But before we do, let's do a few lip trills. Probably a good idea to make sure no one's listening at the moment. We do them like this. Don't laugh. Don't worry, you'll get better at it. But this gets your lips, voice and mouth warmed up. OK, let's begin. E and O. Watch my mouth when I glide between the two sounds. E, U, E, U, E, U. Can you see that my mouth is spread like a smile for E with my jaws close together and then it changes to full lip rounding with the jaw lowering like I'm blowing a kiss, like this. U. But where's the tongue, I hear you say. Well, the tongue is forward for E and comes back for O. Watch this. E, O, E, U. Now you try. Take a deep breath. E, U, E, U. Got it? If not, practice until you have. If these sounds are new to you, you're probably using muscles you've never used before. Now let's put them into two words. These are the most common words in English. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Can you hear it? OK, so now we have those sounds. Let's practice the short sounds, I and U. So why these? Well, they are almost the same as the long sounds, E and U, but just shorter. The tongue and the mouth and jaw do exactly the same thing as before. Watch and listen. E, I. U. E, I, U, U. Now you try. How was that? Okay. Now let's try E and I, followed by E. E, I, E. E, I. Can you see what's happening? The only change is when I open my mouth wider for E. Eh. The tongue stays the same. Now you try after me. Say E, I, E. All together E, I, E. E, I. Now let's put them into a short sentence. Bees live everywhere. Bees live everywhere. So let's move on to the long vowel sound, er. Uh. This time, relax your tongue and jaw and lips like this. Er. Uh. Er. Uh. Just let go and relax. Er. Uh. Now say the word Bird. Bird. It sounds better when you relax everything. Now say this short sentence. I'm as free as a bird. I'm as free as a bird. So now you've practiced er 
we're going to move on to a, uh, the schwa sound. Say a, 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 a. The schwa sound is very short and has very little energy. A. Uh. The only difference is a uh, is long and a uh, is short. Simple. Uh, uh, uh. The schwa sound is one of the most common sounds in the English language. Listen out for it in everyday English conversation. It's used instead of the vowel sound in unstressed words and in unstressed syllables, like this. Black and white, not black and white. He's taller than me, not he's taller than me. He's taller than me. Can you hear it? Now prepare yourselves for the sound ah. This is the sound your doctor asks you to make when he looks down your throat, like this. Ah. Ah. Why is that? Well, it's because when you make this sound, you are physically opening your throat so much that the doctor can see you right down. So now you know. Now you try. Open your mouth quite wide with your lips open but relaxed. Put your tongue down and make sure it's not sticking out but stays inside, like this. Ah, uh, ah, uh, got it? Good. So now from here, we go to the sound ah. Uh. Everything inside your mouth stays the same, including your mouth shape. Watch this. Ah, 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 ah. So now, we move on again to the sound ah. Everything stays the same, but your lips slightly widen, like you're laughing, like this. <laughs> That's terrible. Whatever you do, don't laugh like that, will you? Anyway, you do it now. Say this sentence. Ask him for that one. Did you hear it? The word that is stressed in this sentence, so you can hear the sound ah. Okay, so we're nearly there now. Let's try the long sound or. With this one, go from oo to or, like this. Oo, or. Oo, or. Oo, or. Round the lips and push them forward for oo with your jaws close together and the tongue is back. And then to say or, just open your mouth more. Your jaws should be a little wider apart, like this. Oo, or, oo, or. From here, make the sound or sound short like this. Oh, 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 oh. Notice the jaw opens a little more, but the lips are more relaxed. Now say these short sentences. Two more boxes, please. Haven't you got enough boxes? No, I'd like two more, please. How was that? Okay. You can always go back and practice a bit more until it's perfect. So, you think you've cracked it, yeah? Well, let's just see how you do with these tongue twisters. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Easy? Well, if you can do that, Move on to this one. Betty Botter bought some butter. Betty Botter bought some butter. 
Now don't forget, you think you've got them right, but you best just record yourself to make sure, okay? Well, I hope you enjoyed the lesson. If you did, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Love.